Hello, church. Many of you have heard the news by now, but our church, Calvary South Denver, is going to reopen. And I don't know about you, but it is time to celebrate. Now, I just want to remind you, our first meeting back will be March 31st, Sunday, March 31st. And I just cannot wait to see every single one of you. I will want to hug and high five each of you, but I can't. The staff discouraged it. Now, with reentry comes changes. For our health and safety of you and the church, we're going to be implementing the CDC guidelines found in the interim guidance for communities of faith. Now, I want to take some time right now to let you know of the steps that we as a church, Calvary South Denver, is taking in order to make service as safe but also as comfortable as possible. So first of all, social distancing. By now, whether you're used to it or not, we are going to maintain the six-foot distancing guidelines. Now, our chairs in the sanctuary are going to be set up and spaced apart that allows each household per row. Now, if you're an individual or a couple and there's just only two of you, uh, we ask that you sit on the end of the row to allow others to sit on the opposite end of that row. Number two, masks. Now, our staff, as well as the volunteers here at Calvary South Denver, will be wearing face masks. And we want to encourage you to do the same. Masks protect others more than they do you, so we want to encourage you to do so for the sake of the Christians, uh, brothers and sisters that come into our, our facility. If you don't have a mask, uh, we will have a limited amount of masks at the entrance of our building on Sunday. Remember, church, this is not the new normal. We're not going to be doing this forever. So please remain patient as we ensure the health safety of every person entering this facility. Number three, entrance and exit. When you come to the church on Sunday, uh, May 31st, the eastern doors by the offices are going to be used for entry, while the western doors by the cafe will be used for exiting. Now, upon your exit, we will have a designated area of fellowship outside the western doors that is in a coned off area of the parking lot. We haven't seen each other in almost three months. So we want to encourage safe social distancing fellowship. Uh, it's been a while, but man, I cannot wait when service is over to be able to converse with each of you afterwards. Number four, our children's ministry and youth ministry. For right now, both ministries are not available. And we're doing this in accordance to the CDC guidelines. Now, children and students are not only welcome, but we encourage them to sit with their families in the sanctuary. Now, parents, if you have a little, little one like I do, uh, they need some room to run around and get their wiggles out. We, we will have overflow rooms for your kids throughout our facility so that you can still watch the service and your kids can still run about. Number five, cleaning and sanitizing. Now the steps include sanitizing common areas between services and having hand sanitizing stations available. We wanna do everything we can when we gather to properly clean this facility. And if you are available or want to make yourself available so that we can have multiple services here at the church, we encourage that. If you wanna donate products to the church, whether they're hand sanitizers or face masks or cleaning products, I'm gonna ask you to email info, I-N-F-O, at calvarycsd.org. Our goal has always been to gather again. And, and praise God, because the day has finally come. We get to gather again. So please remember to extend grace toward the staff here, the volunteers, and, and as well as one another, because we're entering a brave new world together as a church. We haven't been together in almost three months, and what a great time to gather, rejoice, and celebrate, because it's, it's been too long. And things are different now, but the gospel is still the same. It's still the same. And I want to close with a verse that I hope encourages you as we get to gather again. And it's in Hebrews chapter 10, verses 23 through 25. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. 
And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near.